Hey everyone! I don't want to stress anybody out if you're watching this during the summer, but today I'm going to show you how to make this backpack for a stuffed animal. Now let's get started! To make this, I'm going to start with some plain lavender fabric. For some reason, I just always pictured the backpack being this color. And now I can start cutting out my pieces using these patterns. As you can see, I had to move on to using my double-sided recycled paper. But I'll have printable versions of these linked in the description box, as well as where you can buy almost all the materials you need to make this. I'm just pinning all my patterns onto the fabric and cutting them out. You'll need two of these long rectangle pieces, as well as some small rectangles that I'll get to later. And these two main backpack pieces probably look exactly the same, but one's actually bigger than the other, so I'm cutting out those separately. But it probably won't make that big of a difference if they're exactly the same size. I'm just cutting out singles for the rest of the pieces. Now once I have almost all my pieces cut out, I'm going to work on the pocket. It looks very similar to the piece for the bottom, so just be careful of that. I want a pretty big fold at the top of mine, so instead of just hemming it normally, I'm going to fold over the top edge a tiny bit with a good side facing up, then make one more wider fold. This works well for me since the front and back of my fabric look almost exactly the same, but if you do have a printed fabric, you might want to just hem it normally. Now I'm just going to pin this in place and do a straight stitch right along this edge. After that, I can set this aside and move on to my zipper. I was lucky enough to find mine in a matching purple color, and I feel like the zipper makes the backpack so realistic, but you could always try Velcro or something else, but I'll have a link in the description where you can buy one. I don't need to use this entire thing, so I made a little mark where I want to shorten it and kind of lock off this end, and I'm just inserting my needle and thread through the back, then going around and over the zipper, and then going back under the zipper to the other side. I'm combining this into one step right here, which just makes it faster. Now I need to do this about eight times to completely lock it in place. I ended up sewing right over this though, so I'm not even sure if this was necessary, but better safe than sorry. Now I can just cut the end off, leaving at least half an inch extra. Now I can attach my two really long rectangles to the zipper, and the way I'm going to do this is just folding over the edge and then laying it right on top of the zipper. I don't know why I didn't just sew them good side to good side, but both ways will work. But I'm just going to pin this in place and sew this using a straight stitch. After that, I just need to do the exact same thing to the other side. And I forgot to mention my zipper is about 11 inches long, but you can make yours shorter. After that, I still need to cut out two more pieces, and that will be some little rectangles to go on the bottom of this. I didn't want my zipper going all the way down on both sides, so usually backpacks have that little extra space at the bottom that doesn't have a zipper, so that's what I'm cutting here. But for me, once I finished the backpack, this part ended up being only about a quarter of an inch thick, which is really small, but if you use a slightly shorter zipper, at least you'll be able to see a little bit more of this. To sew these on, I'm just flipping them good side to good side with the bottom of the zipper and sewing a straight stitch down. After that, I'm just going to cut off the extra and I can start sewing this onto the main backpack pieces now. I'm starting with the piece for the back, which is slightly bigger. Now I'm just going to lay my zipper good side to good side with this curved piece and start pinning that outer edge together. It's completely normal for this to be pretty awkward to do. The zipper will start sticking out like this, but that's normal. And it took me a few tries to make sure both ends reach the bottom like this. But now I can do a straight stitch all along where I've pinned, and I'd recommend using a smaller stitch length like two or three just to make it as smooth as possible. Now before pinning this to the front, I need to make sure to lay my pocket onto the good side of this front piece, and then I can just do the same thing as before, lining them up good side to good side. Make sure you're not sewing too close to the edges around here because the first time I completely missed the pocket and had to resew it. After that, I'm just turning it inside out to see how it looks, and it looks so good already, but we still need to sew on the bottom. I'm first cutting off the extra fabric, and then I have to turn this inside out again. I'm grabbing my rectangle and lining up the short sides good side to good side, and then just pinning the rest together along the perimeter. Don't worry if the bottom rectangle is slightly bigger than you need. You can either leave that as extra or kind of puff out the backpack so they line up. Sewing this was definitely the hardest part for me, especially around the corners. What I learned though is don't worry about the way all the corners are flattened. Once you've just got it done and sewed it together, you can turn it inside out and it will probably look really good, but if you have any holes, you can just re-sew that area. After that, you can turn this inside out and you should have a fully working backpack, but we still have to make the straps. The key to making these straps look super realistic is by using felt. I didn't bother making a pattern for this since I'm just cutting a strip off of this rectangle of felt. You can make this whatever thickness you want, but I think at first I went with three quarters of an inch. I did end up trimming that though, so it's probably more like half an inch. Folding it over like this helps me maintain kind of a straight line. For the length, you'll want to test out what works for your stuffed animal, but I made mine 10 inches at first, but later I had to trim some off, so it was probably more like 8 inches. 
I cut out one more of these felt strips and now I'm going to go back to my original purple fabric. I need to cut out two more rectangles, a little bit longer than the last ones, but the width should be at least double the last one. I cut mine around one and three quarters of an inch just to be safe. After cutting out another one of these, we can finally start putting together the straps. I have my felt laid towards the center of my purple fabric and now I'm just going to fold over the sides. And just so no raw edges were exposed, I folded over the edge that would be showing on top. You don't have to do this of course, but it just makes things neater. And now I'm just going to pin that in place. You actually don't want this fold right in the center though, because I eventually want two lines of stitches going down each long side of the strap. So you want this fold closer to one of the sides. After that's pinned, I'm going to do a straight stitch all along that fold, but then I'm going to sew another straight line along the other side of the strap. After that, it should look like this. Adding the felt really gives the stitches something to sink into and gives it more of a padded strap look. And so now we just need to attach these onto the back. I'm just going to do this by hand and I'm starting by folding over that extra fabric over the edge. Then I'm basically sewing this on good side to good side like always. And I'm using a back stitch to sew across the width of the strap. Once it's fully attached, I can just lock my stitch in the back and move on to the other ones. I sewed on the bottom of this strap and the other strap the exact same way. After that, your backpack is done, but it's looking a little bit plain, so I'm going to customize mine. The first thing I'm going to do is embroider some initials on the front of the backpack. Kind of like how backpack companies can put your own initials on any kind of backpack you order. I decided to put on the initials of my channel, so I'm doing an LPC and sketching this out in pencil. And then with my embroidery floss and needle, I'm just going in through the back and making my first stitch. And then I'm inserting my needle again about a stitch length away from my last stitch and then inserting it back into where that last visible stitch ended. This is called a back stitch and I'm going to be using this to do all my letters. A little tip I can give you is try to make the stitches all the same size and that will just make it look a lot neater. After that I can just lock my stitch and a way to do this when you're only working with one thread is insert your needle through one of the stitches in the back. Then before the loop closes insert your needle through that opening and pull it tight and then do that one more time. Now the embroidery's done, but the last thing I'm gonna do is decorate this front pocket. I decided to paint on some little daisies, but you can do whatever design you want or even just leave it blank. I did my first little test one here, but all I have is this tiny paintbrush, and I'm making little teardrop shapes with this white paint. And with the shape of the paintbrush, I could kinda just press this on its side and it would make that shape. Then I'm dipping the end of a paintbrush into yellow paint and just dotting that in the middle. Now I'm going to do that everywhere, but I'm leaving that fold on the top empty. After doing all the daisies and letting it dry, the backpack is finally done. I think it turned out super cute, and I'm going to be filling this with some mini school supplies I made in a previous video. I'll have it linked in the description box. I really hope you enjoyed this video and try to make this yourself. Please give this video a like and comment any video requests you have. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuffed animal crafts and clothes. I'll see you next time!